Hi guys, this is Jeff from digitalgrowth.com.au um, Today we're going to have a look at one of my new posts that I've just posted on my blog and it's about um, WordPress, the top WordPress hosting in 2015. So basically what we're gonna see is my listing of the top website host in 2015. Um, now I've written a very lengthy post um, um, describing the various website hosts that I've used through the years. So without much um, delay, let's go and have a look at the website. So for those who don't know yet, my website name is digitalgrog.com.au. So here we go. Oops, did I press it? Yes, no. There we go. So basically, this blog is mainly about uh, technology, website reviews, hosting, starting website, internet marketing, and different things. Uh, by the way, um, before, just after that post, my newest post is um, a post on the Microsoft Windows 10, and um, I've Put down a link down there for the beta preview for the Windows 10 so um, if you're interested in checking out Windows 10 then um, yeah, surely check out this post but uh, today what we're discussing is the top web hosting plans in 2015 so I'll just click on that well there you go that was pretty quick So this this blog as of now is hosted on Host Monster. Um, my preference in websites is pretty much Bluehost, Hostgator, Host Monster, and a few other hosts as such. So Blue, you would probably ask me. Um, I mean, if it's Bluehost, why are you in Host Monster? It's because I have quite a few websites and um this one's in host monster i'm a little bit slack i don't want it to move, move it to bluehost yet so that's why i haven't actually moved it but there's no problem with host monster as it is so bluehost is good host monster is good as well so i'll take you to the post itself now i've written a very lengthy post i've written a little bit of an intro over here on you know what you actually need to look for in website hosting and you know a little bit nitty-gritty of um, you know Windows hosting or Linux hosting that gets a little bit technical but pretty much you know the main things you need to look for is um, the uptime like is your host always up no server problems um, or is your host um, uh, offer unlimited domain hosting which means if you buy another domain and decide to get um, start a second website is that allowed yes most of these web hosts that I have put down here does allow that so as you can see I put down a recommended over there so Bluehost hosting is my first firstly that's what I would recommend and they got a nice um, decent price going on at the moment 349 a month when it's normally 599 as you can see from that it's got unlimited pretty much everything free domain name that offer comes on and comes off sometimes but it is there now um, free instance setup that's there pretty much with all hosts that I've put down on this list um, as you can see hostgator is the second one as I told you before hostgator is my second preference GoDaddy I have websites on GoDaddy as well and they are pretty good now with most of these i'm not i'm not going to repeat myself but um you know they all have pretty much similar features except for a little bit you know one plus or minus point over there but the basic features are there in pretty much all the web hosting that i've listed down here so go daddy there you go that's host monster this website is hosted on host monster and they are pretty reliable as such dreamhost um uh, i've been a little bit up and down with dreamhost so I don't know I mean I would put it at the bottom of the bucket really myself but 
they used to be pretty good they had a um, server upgrade recently so they might have improved a little bit they have improved a little bit but uh, yeah um, I had some good times and some bad times with it I put a lot of um, compared to my last review actually I put down quite a few Australian web hosts over here so um, the Australian I don't really use Australian web hosts um, and that's because I mean I get a lot of traffic from the US so um, not a lot but a fair bit I mean I get a and I get some traffic from Australia it's 50 50 really so I mean it doesn't really matter uh, the web hosts are good and speedy so I mean US you know Australia it's both same traffic as such um, so I mean it doesn't really matter to me and some of the Australian hosts are a little bit pricier so I mean with digital Pacific 490 a month is not too bad but then they got limited bandwidth and limited storage um, net registry 795 a month that's a bit pricier compared to the US host and again there's a little bit of um, limited stuff over there uh, but they got local data centers so if you're looking only for Australian traffic then maybe this is the way to go Melbourne IT uh, 2795 well that's got to be pretty pricey um, hosting but of course I mean most of these are shade so I don't know why they should be so high we got VP hosting listed over there as well not too bad smarty host I bought a few domains from them boomerang hosting that's my own and so on and so forth one other thing I would like to sort of um, put the focus on one click install if you're a uh, if all this is something new to you then this this is a pretty good feature to have in your hosting um, in your hosting provider as such because um, it's pretty much you can install a blog or website WordPress blog or website in pretty much a couple of minutes and a couple of clicks so uh, that's a pretty good thing to have but uh, it's a no-brainer most of the web hosts that I've listed down here actually do that um, here's a few related posts that I have um comparison of like blog web hosting for australians so that's an older post that i have it has some information i've just updated that so that's updated as well if you want to go and have a look um control panel nothing much to say it makes it easier to um you know administer your back end of your blog vps hosting renewal rates linux or windows hosting so that's that's just server end and it doesn't really matter much as such so most of these hosts they do support wordpress which is the most popular bo blogging software as such but they do support a lot of other um, sort of softwares like um, drupal uh, magento um, joomla those sort of things so i mean that's me down there so if you really are looking for website hosting want to compare prices want to say you know read a mini review or such um, before you decide this is where you, you probably need to read this article and then make um, make a judgment because I put in put in enough information to actually do that um, that's me again as I told you there's a few banners normally these gets updated as we go um, I think I need to change that banner. Um, GoDaddy's got a good um, special as now, 20% off. Um, another good offer that's going at the price is right now, if you're looking for a domain or you think you would be at a future stage need a domain, just go and get it now because GoDaddy is giving domains at 0 0.99 cents. That's less than, less than a dollar. So you can grab it by clicking on this um, advertisement down here but yeah that's pretty much a wrap up for my hosting rant today as such and i've just put this post recently start or compare the top web hosting plans in 2015 australia versus us hosting so i did a similar post before but this time i have a lot more australian web hosts that i've sort of put in this post so if you're looking specifically for an australian web host um, i would suggest you know go check out those ones um, those are the more popular ones and um, you know reasonably priced some of them 
but um, but if you're if you're just starting a new blog and um, you know just want to get started I would suggest just get a cheap US web host like Bluehost or HostGator or HostMonster and they should do the job really until you have sort of settled down and ready to upgrade when you're getting heaps of traffic so that's pretty much uh, my um, story for today I'm not gonna bore you anymore um, have a look at this that's me there you can follow me on Google Plus if you click there I think I got myself over there as well and I'm also starting a new blog very soon specifically on uh, website hosting and how to start a blog called startwebsite.info so pretty much um, my next um, YouTube video would be on that so until then good luck um, write a comment if um, below this post um, if you want to convey something to me or you could just call, you know send me a message through the contact button on the blog contact us so if you want some more information um, and that's it ciao